Angus having a really good sniff around tonight. Without Millie holding him up, he's moving at a fairly decent clip until he smells something that makes him stop. We're about to hit the hill. We're going to push pretty hard up that hill. We'll both be drooling and panting by the top. There may be a competition to see who will be drooling and panting the most, to be fair. Look. The markings look really light in this failing sunlight, but we've noticed the last few months he's really darkened up. Not like Millie, Millie's a proper red. If you look really carefully on Angus, he's got one hind quarter that's lighter than the rest. He's always been like that. Even when he was much lighter, that one was lighter still. So we're not sure if that one's gonna darken up or not. But a very good hound. And we're about to hit this hill. Angus, Angus, hey, hey, let's go. Come on, let's go. We made it to the top. We've both caught our breath. Angus heard an aircraft go over. Must have been a big one, it made a hell of a racket. That made him run extra fast up the hill. So Dad had to run extra fast to keep up. I'm sure the crushing chest pain's normal. Angus has caught a scent to something, he's off. If you're very astute, you'll notice we've accidentally put Millie's collar on Angus tonight. Got as far as the car and realised and we couldn't be bothered changing it. Should we carry on Angus? It's going to get dark soon. Angus is no doubt on the scent of a rabbit or similar. I doubt we'll see you next. Pretty brave rabbit that lives in an off-leash dog park, but there you go. Alright, come on Angus. Let's pick up the pace now, eh? Let's go!